Imagine hordes of people shambling down the streets, eyes half closed, incomprehensible words bubbling from their lips. They're not zombies, they just need some coffee. Previous to the 1600s, people nipped at alcohol day and night because it was much more sanitary than their local water supplies. But when the English coffee house arrived on the scene in the 1600s, it changed everything. People woke up. Instead of downing depressants in the form of beer, wine, or gin, the masses began to down a stimulant in the form of coffee. Citizens from all walks of life gathered at these coffee houses, and they chatted, chatted, chatted about all their ideas, sharing information. And according to author Stephen Johnson, coffee house culture was crucial to the development and to the spread of the great intellectual flowering of the last 500 years, an age we now call the Enlightenment. There's no doubt that coffee's not-so-secret ingredient, caffeine, has a huge influence on our waking lives. Caffeine is a naturally occurring stimulant known on the street as trimethylxanthine. It's a drug and believe it or not, it shares a few traits with more notorious drugs like amphetamines, cocaine, and heroin. Most notably, those traits are gaming brain chemistry to create a more acute reaction to the world around us. You see, when the neurons in your brain fire, they create a byproduct called adenosine, and your nervous system actually monitors the level of adenosine in your body, determining whether or not you need to take a nap or go to sleep based on those levels. Enter caffeine, the great adenosine imposter. You see, there are adenosine receptors and they can't tell the difference between caffeine and adenosine. So what happens is that the caffeine just sidles right up next to those receptors and binds to them. Now the adenosine receptors are blocked by the caffeine and the normal signals that would put the brakes on your activity level are disengaged. Caffeine's effect on the brain also causes increased neuron firing. The pituitary gland senses this activity and thinks that there must be some sort of emergency at hand. So then it releases a bunch of hormones that then tell the adrenal glands, release the adrenaline hounds. This causes the pupils to dilate, your heart rate to increase, and your airways to open up, among other physiological changes. It's the reason why you might hyper-focus on a task in front of you or go on a five-minute tangent on, say, Roman aqueducts and the marvels of modern plumbing as an answer to the very simple question, do you know where the bathroom is? So cheers to caffeine, cheers to coffee, and cheers to the buzzing ideas in our heads. So what about you? Are you a teetotaler or are you coffee crazy? Let us know in the comments below and make sure to subscribe for more mind-blowing videos.